All right, so let's talk about the text justification. So this question is supposed to be really hard to understand and it's supposed to be really hard to code. But, all right, so I'm going to ignore, probably going to ignore you know, what happened in the, in, the, uh, in the description. I'm just talk about how I did it. So you have what? You have string array, string array, and then for every single word, uh, you need to uh, count, right? And then for every single line, right? For every single line, you can uh, combine uh, the string together. And if you, uh, if there's an example, I mean, if there's a word exists the uh, width, then you have to go on the next line, right? And you start it over again, right? So if you if you only have uh, three word, right? There's this, uh, right? And then for every single word, you definitely have a space in the between. You, you need to maximize your max out with remaining space. So what does this mean? 16, you need, you need to minus 4, you need to minus 2, you need to minus 2. So what do you get? 8, right? Something like this, right? Uh, 12, right? 10, 8, yeah, okay, this is correct. Now I need to know right, uh, how many space I need to split equally for this one and this one. So if this is the even number, it's easy, it's both 4 and 4, right? But what if, I mean, I'm going to talk about what if, right? This um, is, uh, uh, I mean, just for example, the 16 minus 4 minus 2 minus 1, right? And this is 16 and this is supposed to be 9. So how do you split the space equally for here and here? So based on the description, right? You need to have an extra. Okay, so four, four, so we have four and four, right? So we have four and four uh, in the beginning. Four and four. Uh, but we need one space, right? So based on the des description, you need to put the extra space. Extra space in the, I mean, for the first one, right? So this is how it is, right? So you put extra space for the first word. And so this is going to be the, uh, the idea. So um, I'm going to talk about how, how I did it, but uh, this is definitely going to be hard to follow along, and um, but I will try my best. So I'm definitely need well, I definitely need a starting index, which is I. I definitely need an ending index, which is J. So I'm I'm going to keep track of the the number of the length for the for the entire uh, count, right? So one line, so one line has what the max of width, right? Max of width. So I want to make sure the, the number of the words, the number of character does not exceed the max width. And if, if I find out there is a character, I mean if there's a word that that is exists in my one line, then I need to stop, right? So I will move my J at some point uh, before uh, 16. And for every single word, you need to plus one for the space, right? And then later on, you need to maximize so once you so once you find out how many words, so find words, right? And then this is the first step. And then maximize. Maximize your space, right? And then number three is move your eye pointer. And then once you move your eye pointer, your J pointer definitely move. So this is the idea. Only three steps, but this is definitely gonna be super hard. To understand so I'm gonna code it and then uh, just follow along okay so int i equal to zero and this of things uh, this of string this is gonna be my result I'm gonna say a new release and I will return the result so I'm traversing my line uh, both our lines right so if this is the condition right I can still traverse it so which is there's a word right uh, we should, uh, there's a line I can still append, right? So I'm going to say uh, in j equal to what? I'm going to create a helper function, go right. I need to pass in the i, I need to pass in the words, I need to pass in the method width. And then public in, int, right, go right. And then in, uh, in this argument, word, I'm going to change the name to star, and I'll talk about y, max width, right? So I, I want to make sure what is my current index starting 
for the worst showing array. And I also need an ending, right? And I'm going to um, initialize to equal to a star. This is because uh, the, uh, this word supposed to be what? Supposed to be including in the first line, and then I need to try very right? So I need to also have a sum. Sum was starting at zero, but, but we, we use the first word, right? So I'm going to say uh, worst at end, and then dot length, right? So if I use the first word, right, and then I need to traverse the rest of the word, so well, and less than what? Less than first dot length. So this is in the condition, right? And I also have an end statement. So once I, uh, once I traverse the first word, right, I need to traverse the second word. But beforehand, I need to increment my end, right? So uh, why not just do it right over here, right? So I already put a list in the sum, right? Now I need to uh, I need to make sure if I if I use this current word and then plus one space and plus the next character, yeah, the next character, the end the end you increment your end, right? So end is supposed to be here right now. So plus the next character, uh, which is what? Where's the end? Dot end. And then if this is what less than equal to the max width, then you can still try version. So the sum will plus equal to what one. One is supposed to be the space plus the word at the end balance, right? So you include the second word. Now you need to increment your n, right? But let's talk about this. They just make the code efficient. So we you, you increment your space right, right over here, right? And then, so when you break out the value, when you break out the value, it's definitely uh, at some point, which is what, which is uh, which is not in within the max width, right? You definitely will break out the value, right? Right. So you'll break out the value at this point. So you want to subtract, subtract your n by one. This is because I only need three, uh, the three words. So you don't want to include. Uh, the example, the example, right? So this is like go right. Now I need to what? I need to know. Uh, uh, I need to combine the words and the space, right? So I'm going to say this I add. So justify will return. Justify will return the string. I'm going to say I, which is starting, J, which is ending, words, which is the string array, and max width, which is the the, the line, right? And then when I add a words, when I add a string, sorry, then I can know, okay, I need to move on my i. So the i is supposed to be here. i is supposed to be here, j is supposed to be here. So when I add this line to the uh, new radius, which is this, right, I need to update my i to here, right? So uh, i equal to what? j plus 1, right? Alright, so now. Uh, I need to create justify, right? So public string for sure, right? Public string just justify in star in the end string array was in max width, right? <coughs> Alright. So um, if you if you if you are if you are on the last word, right? If the start and end are equal, right? If you start and end are equal, then which means there's only one word, right? So you need to what? Just return, uh, return the word. But we need to put put all the word. Uh, I mean, in the beginning of the string, right? So uh, this is supposed to be uh, what happened. And let me see what uh, what, what should I do, all right? So yeah, so you put you put the word in the beginning and. I think there's a problem for should be. I mean, I mean should be. Oh, okay. So it, this is left justify instead of full justify. So okay. So I see. So uh, I will talk about this later. And uh, so we need to pad. So pad a result for what? Uh, for the worst star. And also the next week. Alright, so let's talk about the path. So you need to return the string path result. And this is going to be what? Uh, string word. 
So now I need to have a uh, string space equal to the last line. So I check if this is the last line. Uh, hold on. If this is the last line, then if this is true, I'm going to just have an empty. So which is an uh, empty string. If not, then I need to count the space and then using a uh, uh, using a total space dividing by num space so I will get what uh, 8 divided by what 2 this is 2 space 1 2 and this is 8 that we just uh, that we just calculate so this is supposed to be 4 right so I will say space is 4 so you will have what space 1 2 3 4 right and then I need to check my remainder. If this if this is what if this is if this is all number, then you need to know there's a remainder. So again, last line. If the last line if this is last line, you don't have a uh, you definitely don't have what you you want to left justify right. And then if not, then probably it should be the same right. Instead, it's gonna be a mod right. So this is a remain. So how many remain you have? So now I can I can what I can create a string builder, new string builder, and then I can uh, traverse right traverse this on the star, including including the end the word right. So I will say sp dot append words at i right. So I append the I, I, I append the first word right. Then I need to append the space. I need to append a space, right? And I also need to append the remainder space, right? I need to append remainder space, remainder space, and then I need to what? I need to know if I. Uh, sorry. So let so let's talk about it. So, um, let me make an easy word. So it is a a Valid. So how many how, how many minimum space? Minimum minimum space be one, two, and three, right? And then if if there is a word behind it is super long, then I don't get I don't have to think about this, right? So minimum space, num space is three. So how many character? Two two plus one plus two plus one plus one plus one plus four, right? Five, six, seven. 9, 10, 12, right? So 12. So 16. Uh, hold on. 12, right? So 12 is less than 16, so which is correct, right? So I need to keep track of the keep track of the words. So total space. Uh, so the max width is what 16. And the words is 2 plus 2. Uh, Sorry, uh, hold on. The word space is supposed to be what? Uh, supposed to be 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 4, right? 4, 5, 9. So this is 9. 16 minus 9. This is 5. So this is all number, right? So all number, then my space. So if I can split equally, Equally first, then I would be able to know. So this is one, 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 right? At least what right? one, one, one. But I still have two, right? So this is a remainder component. So remainder equal to two. Space is one, right? So I will put my uh, extra space first for the first space, and then and I will subtract by one, and I, and I have the I have one remaining. So I will put that on the second, the following space, right? So uh, be more. Uh, uh, I mean, so the solution should be more clear. The two space for the first one, two space for the second one, one space for the last one, right? And this is it, right? So I need to add a remainder, and then when I add a remainder, I need to subtract, and then and I need to just check if this is greater than zero, right? I want to add a space. If not, I'm going to add nothing. So this is pretty much it, and I return the string to sp.toString. Uh, SP but 
think about this you want to pad right so we create a pad result right so we can use this pad result so it's going to be a string dot uh sp dot two string and then uh think about this so if you have what well, if you have a space at the end you, you can just trim right so this is it right and then I put a match with so you so pad pad result help you to create uh create a string for the list of string so this is so long and I might make a mistake yes I do I type type the string string in the wrong name oh I still type in the wrong name 41 and what else list are at oh maybe I change I don't know uh can I find the justify all right uh I made a mistake for here this is supposed to be result all right let's move on on the next one so workspace so this is supposed to be int this is correct okay uh, I only have three arguments right so this one I don't, uh, I don't need this one and then um, all right so this is something I uh, something I uh, I made a mistake in the be in, in the beginning so uh, I need to know this is supposed to be char array and then I convert I convert to the string and then I think this is supposed to be supposed to be okay if I use this one okay yes so I just put the, uh, uh, a single quote to a double quote all right okay this is so painful and sorry for the mistake so uh if you still don't understand maybe you just you just you just want to take a break and then let's talk about the time and space so for the time and space it's going to be really challenge and everyone has different answer but i'm going to talk, talk about mine so this is definitely going to be what all of w and talk about talk about the time and this is all of w and when you go right right you want to find out the word so this is still inside all of w but it doesn't matter how many times you want to traverse because at the end you want to justify justify is the problem Ju justify is definitely uh, a, a more time complexity than uh, than go right so i'm going to ignore the go right i'm going to talk about the just justify justify right so the justify uh how many how many character you need to append i mean yeah how many character you need to generate is def definitely based on the pad, pad result right so uh, this is going to be all of what um, all of n this is definitely going to be all of n and represent the match width right and then uh, this is still inside all of n right all of n because you have probably generate a minimum word I, I, I don't know how many words you want to generate but it's definitely start to end right and then you can say okay um, probably have little s and then sorry a little little e minus star right and then follow length but i will definitely get rid of this because this is too small and I, it's not important and then uh the next one so this is all of double all of n and how many lines you have this is three line right so how many loop you want to traverse it's definitely going to be based on i right so uh again uh, this is not countable so i'm going to say all of c all of c all of c for how many line you want to count i mean you want to you want to add to the list right uh, so the worst case for the time in my solution is going to be all the w times all of m times all of c right and w and c right so w represent the length of the words m represent the max width c represent the uh, number of it num the number of iteration you want to traverse based on the value right and then for the space it's going to be all of uh all of what 
all those W and this, right? This is one word, two word, three word, right? And then plus the number of the space, right? Plus the number of space is gonna be what? All of the uh, sorry, all of W, and then C is the number of the uh, number of the line. And then you need to what? Multiply, multiply the max width, which is M minus what? Uh, minus the one line, the, the, the one line word. So this is going to be a space, right? This is space, and this is the number of iteration, and this is the number of a word. So the space is this, and time is this. All right, so uh, if you still don't understand, uh, probably uh, watch again, and still on the, and you still have question, leave a comment below. And I know there are a lot of mistakes in the beginning, but you know, I told, um, I call for a mistake and I'll see you later. Bye.